Hi, a few weeks ago I released a new game uh, that I called Expelunker uh, for MSX. Uh, I built Expelunker for the MSX Dev uh, 2017 competition. And uh, for what I've seen uh, in a couple of videos I've seen online and some feedback I've gotten, uh, I see that people is finding Expelunker a pretty hard game. Uh, so Expelunker was a game that inspired by one of my favorite games, which is uh, Spelunky which is also a very, very hard game. Uh, so I just wanted to make this video just to uh, show you guys how to play Expelunker, uh, give you some advice, how to use all the items in the game, etc. Uh, well, first of all, uh, I've also seen some people is having a hard time pronouncing uh, the name Expelunker. So originally I wanted to call this game uh, MSX Spelunky, but uh, it seemed to me a little bit too obvious. So I just dropped the M and the S and it just, ended up being Expelunker. Uh, so there you go. So one of the things for which I think the game is hard, I think it's because of the controls. Uh, so you only need the arrow keys, space and M to play the game. So that's a very small amount of keys for all the different things that uh, the character can actually do in the game because the character can do lots of things. It can uh, move around, jump, climb uh, and go down ropes. You can use all kinds of items like you can throw stones and arrows and shoot arrows with bows and there's even a gun you can use. The character can swim, can crouch. It can do lots of things. Uh, so all, all of that with just those six keys. So I think the controls are a little bit, a little bit packed into those keys. Uh, so that's the case because I wanted the game to also be able to be played with joystick and MSX joysticks only have the uh, stick and two buttons. Uh, so basically I had to make all the controls work with just that limit, uh, limited uh, number of inputs. <coughs> anyway, so to make that a little bit uh, uh, less, uh, let's say painful, I set some a small amount of configuration options. So if you are in the main menu of the game, you can press M and you access this configuration menu where you can configure a few things. Like for example, when you are in a rope uh, and you want to jump, if you're playing with keyboard, you have to just basically double tap the app key. If you're playing with a joystick, that's actually pretty hard to do. So you can just change this option. And then uh, if you change the option when you are in a rope, uh, you can use just uh, space or uh, the first button of the joystick to jump. Usually that button is used to attack, but since when you are in a rope, you cannot attack anyway, then uh, that button becomes the jump button when you are in a rope. <coughs> uh, another thing is, uh, whenever you use an item, let's say that you throw a stone, uh, the game automatically auto-selects the main weapon after you threw the rope, uh, because I thought that was more convenient when I was initially testing the game. Some people find that confusing, so you can actually turn that off if you want. And also some people wanted to play with their own music, so you can turn the music of the game off if you so desire. Uh, all right. So uh, that's basically uh, everything I wanted to say about the controls. So let me just uh, start the game. As you can see, Splunker, X Splunker is a, a platform game. So you can move left and right, you can jump. If you hold up a little bit, the character jumps a little bit. If you hold up more, the character jumps more. So you can control the jump. Uh, another thing the character can do is go up and down ropes. So let me just go up to a rope and let me show you. So here there's a little vine, so you can go up and down. If you are in a vine, you can double tap down and it will let go. But you can double tap up and you will be able to jump. Of course, you can also jump diagonally. And if there will be another rope to the side, you can actually uh, jump from rope to rope. Uh, there's also items that you can pick up. So for example, there's this stone here that I just picked up. So to pick up an item, you walk on top of it, you crouch, you press space, and you pick it up. You can also use them. So for example, this rock, you can throw it. So if I select it, hold space, and select a direction, I can throw it in any direction. And if, the, if you hit an enemy with the stone, it's the same as actually hitting it with your main weapon, which is the machete that you use by selecting it and pressing space. The machete is the only weapon you can actually use while jumping. Any other weapon you can only use while you are uh, on land. Uh, so at the beginning of the game, you start with three items. As you can see at the top, there's that inventory bar where you can see all the items you have. Uh, you start with a machete that you use with space. You start with bombs and you start with a rope, with four ropes, sorry. So ropes are useful for uh, making it to places uh, that are too tall. For example, uh, if I wanted to make it to a platform up here, I'm not gonna be able to get on top of the platform. But uh, if I wanted 
to just go right below it i can just throw a rope up there uh, to throw a rope is the same as with the stones you hold space you select the direction and then you just throw the bomb uh, throw the rope the rope and then you can hold onto it as if it was uh, a vine same thing for bombs you can select them uh, press space <coughs> select the direction in which you want to throw them and they will explode after a while you can also put them directly in a wall so for example if i wanted to make a hole in this wall i can just walk up to the wall select the bomb press space and i can just dig a hole through the wall but of course you can you can just throw them if you if you so want you can just throw a bomb and you can try to kill enemies or destroy walls from a distance uh let's see what else uh let me just explain you more things in the next level so the levels in Expelunker are generated procedurally, so every time you play the game, the levels look different, so you cannot memorize uh, the way to the exit, you always have, have to find your way every time. Uh, this is water, water doesn't kill you, so you can actually swim in the water, and that's not gonna uh, kill your character, but uh, if the water is deep and you try to go down, that is gonna kill you. So if you actually go, wanna go into water, if you wanna uh, dive, you need to pick up an item called uh, the diving mask. If you have the diving mask, then you can actually go underwater. So here, another rock. Uh, in the first levels that are easy and they are not very dangerous, I recommend you to just go around the levels first without trying to complete the levels, just to see if you can find any interesting items that might make the rest of the game easier. No items spawned this level except for these little rocks so let's just move on to the next level uh, let's see so level three this one is the first level that starts being a bit hard and that's because all the different enemies that appear in the jungle are already spawned in this level uh, so the first thing we see is that there's these monkeys that go up up and down those trees and monkeys throw stones at you so that can be complicated so if you want to kill them, then that will make things easier. Uh, oh, I see that uh, there's some boots spawned up there. So I really want to take those boots, but I need to find a way to get there. So I'm gonna leave it. So that thing that I just picked there is an idol. Oh, the diving mask, perfect. This is perfect. All right. so. Uh, the idol is useful for activating buttons as you will see in a second so i'm gonna dig a hole in this wall by throwing a bomb now i'm gonna take this is a perfect combination to show you everything i want to show you so now i took the diving glasses without the diving glasses i could only stay in the surface but now with the diving glasses i can go underneath that's gonna make my life complicated because there's a beehive right there and i don't know if it's gonna let me go through it but it doesn't matter if it kills me it kills me because i actually really want to go through all right, <clears throat> so now I want to make a hole in this wall. And you see here, there's these boots there, and there's a button that I, I stand on top of it, opens the door, but if I try to get there, the door closes. So I pick up this idol, I can put it on top of that, and that is a weight that holds the button open, and now I can take the boots. So the boots help me jump taller. So for example, without the boots, I will not be able to make it there, but if I pick up the boots, then I can make it there. So you jump jump much taller with the boots uh, that's gonna be complicated to pass because when you swim you swim slower but yeah i got it so we managed to get out of there with the boots and with diving mask we lost all the bombs but uh hopefully we get more bombs later on okay there's a new bomb one bomb here so we are not out of bombs anymore you really don't want to get out of bombs i sacrificed two bombs in this game just to get those boots and the diving mask just because i wanted to show you in a real game i would have taken the diving mask and left the boots there because the boots are useful but uh, not as useful as uh, the diving mask and i see there's another idol here whenever there's an idol that means that uh, there will be a button somewhere that i can press so i'm gonna try to take it Let's see, oh, okay, so I see this place there. Oh, ho, ho. I was very lucky in this game because now I can show you all the items. So I see there's a bow down there and there's a bomb here that I might need, so I'm gonna take it. So I'm gonna try to take that bow. There's 
if Venus here that destroy I'm gonna put a bomb there clock here another one and same operation as before I can put the idol there and now I take the bow all right so the bow now makes all of these arrows I collected very useful look without the bow when I throw an arrow it just doesn't go very far but if I use the bow you see you can throw arrows very far so that becomes oh no I didn't have more inventory space so I almost lose that arrow so now I can kill enemies at a distance much easier so let's see if I have any chance to demonstrate the bow monkeys are actually pretty hard to hit with this distance weapon but uh actually I just oh man I'm gonna die now that I have it I just hit a, a, a monkey with a bow let me see the easiest way <coughs> to hit a monkey is to actually hit it from below but I'm actually not gonna even try because the exit is right there so I just beat the first uh, part of the game which is the jungle the, the game is made out of three sections of four levels so there's 12 levels in total oh my god in this game I'm getting extremely lucky with items so there is another item right there but I don't have space so I'm gonna have to sacrifice something and I'm gonna sacrifice the boots because out of these is the less useful this is the uh, anti-gravity belt so with the anti-gravity belt I can fall from as tall as I want without losing life so I could just drop without worrying if this is like a very uh, steep uh, fall so I just fell and nothing happened oh and there's another bomb there and I was running out of bombs so another idol so that means there's gonna be another button here somewhere or another bow so many items in this in this uh in this game usually you don't get that many items i was actually very lucky with this uh with this playthrough so now i don't have to worry about falling from very tall so i can just uh, drop uh, the one item i didn't get a chance to show you is the shield oh and now i i uh, Oh, I got myself into trouble now because I thought I had the boots, but I don't have the boots. So I have to use a rope. So that little guy there also throws bullets at me. And uh, I could just try to kill it with a bow or if I had uh, the shield, which stops enemy bullets, I could just show you. But I'm just going to drop from here okay so this is a good chance to show you oops to show you how the bow works so I'm gonna try to kill that oops Venus with the bow there you go So as you can see, I could kill that Venus from a distance and in that way, I don't have to deal with the bees. So anyway, so I don't think I'm going to play any longer. So I think this should give you a clue of more or less how to play the game. As you can see, without uh, playing very carefully, I could make it pretty far to level, I don't know, the next one will be level what? Uh, Five, six. The next one will be level 7, I'm actually not gonna uh, go to that level, I'm just gonna kill myself, and to kill myself I'm gonna show you something, so if you uh, leave the screen of the game, uh, if you fall from below the screen you die, so if I actually swim down there I'm gonna die, so I'm just gonna end the game right there. So this Explunker, uh, I hope you liked it, I had a lot of fun uh, making it, and I hope this video helped you uh, learn how to play a little bit, see that it's actually not that hard. And if you actually play the game through, if you beat uh, the game beginning to end, uh, please, by all means, let me know. Thanks.